Hello folks, it's me, the old deplorable basket case here, and I want to talk about a subject that has probably not been relevant to you for a very long time, if it ever was, and that is the Red Baron, and how he was not such a great fighter pilot. Yes, he had so many kills, and yes, he was such a great big German hero throughout all of World War I, but he wasn't actually such a big deal, okay? He was not, he was not a, a fighter. He was not a soldier. He was a killer. He was a hunter. He was in it for the blood sport. He liked killing people. It's not me saying it. He said that. He wrote about it in his journal. He told people. He, he enjoyed killing people. He did not enjoy risking his own skin. And so to get so many kills that he had, he had this favorite tactic of his. He'd say take, he'd take one of his squad mates and make his squad mate fly low down to the ground so he'd be very easy for, he'd be bait for any allied fighter pilots around. And then the Red Baron would be flying high up overhead so he could dive in out of the sun and get a kill. The Red Baron would leave his squad mates to die so that he could get a kill. He did that. And the whole flying circus was, was kind of like that. Not so much as the Red Baron was, but, okay. They had some, some number of pilots in the, in the flying circus. They all had so many kills, like lots of very successful pilots in the, in the flying circus. And they had a whole lot more pilots in the Flying Circus who were cannon fodder. Really. The, the, the Flying Circus in, I, I forget, in 1915, I think, 1916, they shot, the, the, the whole squadron, the whole group, got 200 kills over the course of six months. That's a lot, right? That's a lot of kills. That's a lot of allied pilots shot down. Number five squadron, Royal Flying Corps, who were the, the, the Flying Circus's regular opponents, they shot down 200 German planes in five months. So they did not have so many successful aces, but the average pilot was more successful. The average pilot lived longer. So, the, the Red Baron was not a great fighter pilot. A great fighter pilot was Eddie Rickenbacker, who was the highest scoring uh, American ace of World War I. Now, Eddie Rickenbacker was very, was well, very widely known at the time because he was, was a very strong proponent. He highly emphasized the need for everyone to act together in concert to protect each other. Okay, Eddie Rickenbacker abandoned easy kills to save his squad mates. So why, if the Red Baron really was such a big deal, why is he such a big deal? Because the Germans, the German government, needed propaganda. They were losing the war. The German people were starving. They were under blockade. They needed the, the heroes. They needed the great propaganda. And they were very good at propaganda. They were. There, there were German people who thought they were winning the war right up until the armistice happened. So that's it. That's why the Red Baron was a big deal and why he wasn't. <clears throat> so thank you for watching and um, I hope it gives you something to think about because well when I figured this out I thought it was uh, a very very, very thought provoking thing it made me th think of other heroes in history in a slightly different light so that's all I got to say thank you for watching please comment below with anything you have to say I'd like to know what you think and have a good night God bless